Greetings of the day. This is Vijay Kumar, Corporate City of Promo Group. Today I am going to talk about solution and offerings in two wheelers, access and security system. So the first one is immobilizer. For immobilizer application, we are offering a single axis transponder coil. So it's called like a 1D coil. And reader side, we are offering like a air coil reader coils. Okay. Usually here mechanism is like a, a immobilizer is a circular antenna and the transponder key will be inserted in a single axis. Okay. So in this way, you will have communication between transmitter and receiver. The range can be expected maximum 5 centimeters. Okay. The next application is PKE and or RKE. Okay. In this, there are two modules. Uh, one is ECU, another one is KFOP. So ECU placed somewhere inside the vehicles and KFOP placed by hand carrying by the consumer. Okay. So for the ECU, we are offering different type of antennas with the different configurations. So the first one is a PCB mountable antenna. So here we do two different structure. One is an open type. Open type means there is no enclosure. Just plastic guider will be there and the antenna coil will be placed. So this is an open type. Another one is like a enclosed. So this is the part with the plastic housing. And one side is open. So it could be SMD or through hole. The second type um, is a plastic over molded. It's completely over molded. It's IP44 antennas. And here the length could be around 75 mm and the PCB antenna could be around 50 mm. Okay. So both antenna is suitable to place inside ECU. And the range we can expect 2 to 2.5 meters range. The third type we are having with the plastic enclosure, potting and cables with connectors. So this type of antennas more suitable for out of ECU. That means the antenna will be mounted outside ECU somewhere in the vehicle. If it is mounted very close to the metal environment, it affects antenna performance. So for example, the antenna is designed at 125 kilohertz. After placing antenna in the metal environment, so it will affect the magnetic field and it will shift the resonance frequency instead of 125, maybe it shift to 130 or 120. So the main point here is the antenna should be fine-tuned in actual environment, including the actual wire harness. Then only we can able to get the 100% performance of the antenna. So here also the range we can expect 2 to 2.5 meters. So all these three type of antennas we can able to make with inductance, inductance plus capacitors, both together. In KFO, uh, we are having a different size of antennas with size like a 6 millimeter, 9 millimeter and 11 millimeter okay and 15 millimeters this is I am talking about length and the width size okay we are having a different size of products but the most high runner is 11 by 11 so this is the most suitable for two wheeler application at low cost and we have a huge capacity we can able to build more capacity as well so this antenna coil is giving a very good performance in KFOP side so the next application is the TPMS, Tire Pressure Monitoring System. So for TPMS sensor, we are offering single axis coil. Okay, this is also called a 1D coil. So I will show you here, it's a very small coil. So this is the one and it's like a 5mm length, 6mm length and 7mm length. So there are different length. So we are also in development of fully encapsulated transponder coil and with the length less than 4mm and we are expecting to launch to the market at the beginning of next year okay so the next last application is the nfc okay so in two wheeler nfc also we are offering nfc coils okay so here as you can see nfc antennas okay so there are single axis coils also there are three axis coils okay so in nfc you can take key fob coils as well as air coil readers both we are offering and um, here the communication range you can expect 2 cm to 4 cm okay so finally about the market so we are mainly focusing asian market okay so where we see the high growth of course we also focus 
other region market but the main targets are india vietnam china indonesia philippines like asian countries where we want to grow in two wheelers okay so that's all for today so thank you for your attention